Antiretrovirals have changed many a life for the better. Now there's evidence ARVs not only prolong life, but also lower the risk of infecting others by up to 96%. This news is changing the way HIV programs have been run until now. But is the program sustainable given the cost and the rising number of infected people? Statistics have shown that for every two people put on ARVs, there are five new infections. We have new infections every year of about 122,000 uh, as estimated in the year 2009. We are now talk talking about 120,000 new HIV infections annually. Before, it used to be over 200,000. So we almost appreciate that we have reduced by almost 50%. It is 30 years this year since HIV was first isolated. Kenya has made significant progress in addressing the pandemic, but challenges also abound. Special Programs Minister Esther Murugi leads a Kenyan delegation to New York next week to discuss these gains and the challenges encountered over the last 30 years of tackling HIV. She says human rights for people living with or affected by HIV is top on her list of concerns, as is funding. Kenya is reliant to about 87% on donor funding and in the, we've, we've seen this is now diminishing so we really have to look at ways of how are we going to sustain this. We are interested in a global solidarity in supporting the interventions that Kenya thinks will be able to deliver universal access to our people. At least 186 countries will converge at the United Nations headquarters for the high-level meeting to review progress and discuss ways of achieving universal access to HIV services by 2015. Anso Imunde, KTN Prime.